<laughs> hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and guess where we are, guys? Robbie's Craft Wow! Very good! And back in 2020, Tori really wanted to see the musical Beetlejuice. So we hopped on a plane, went to New York, and we all saw Beetlejuice, and it was awesome. I've never been a big fan of musicals, but fantastic, gotta say. So anyway, fast forward to today. Beetlejuice is now in Las Vegas, so I'm gonna be surprising my girlfriend, Tori Dabransky, with realistically repainted Beetlejuice masks and tickets to go see the musical. But the show is in two days, so let's get started. Okay guys, say it with Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh! There he is, the Beetlejuice. Yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna make this much better than it already is, but I'm gonna try my dang best. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this head inside of this head, and also, I kind of forgot to mention that this head also has another head. Get on there. Pretty nightmare fuel, look at that. Looks like I'm ripping his face off. Pretty good side profile now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so these teeth are great, but I think it would be even better if I tried to replace them with these fake ones. Because these ones are kind of rubbery, if you know what I mean. But honestly, they don't look bad. So it looks like we're gonna be doing a little bit of surgery. I really hope this works. Otherwise, I kind of messed up the mask. Okay, now he's missing a tooth. Let's see how it looks if I replace it. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty spooky. I'm gonna cut this part to the gums. Time to be a dentist, I guess. We'll just insert his teeth. It's kind of scary how good that looks. So yeah, that's a uh, one tooth down and a bunch more to go. So I managed to get the top teeth in and they actually look really good. That's really giving this mask that uncanny valley that I was really going for. Now I have to attempt to do the bottom teeth. What I did was I put a bunch of hot glue in there and now I'm just kind of inserting them from the inside. Okay, I got his bottom rows in. Uh, I made them a little short by accident, but you know, you can still see them and they look pretty good. So now I'm gonna go in and try and paint his gums and his lips. A little bit of this and a little bit of this. And I guess I'm gonna have to try and mix them together and just a little bit of pink. I'm really bad at the mixing process, so I'm sorry if his gums don't look very good. Now let's try and paint his gums. This is so creepy, it looks like I'm holding someone's mouth open. Yeah, I don't really like how the pink turned out, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe mix in a little bit of red. Yeah, that's starting to look a lot more like natural gums. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna start with the lips now. Okay, so his mouth is looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna go in and repaint some of this uh, moss. Maybe make it just a bit more, you know, super bright. Ooh, or this dark green looks pretty nice. I'm just going in and touching up all these little spots. At this time, I'm gonna go ahead and also take off the Beetlejuice sign. Just gotta hold his hair back like this, you know? Come on, let me get behind your ear. Hey, Bobby! Uh, yeah, Toby? What are you doing? him green. But Robbie, it's not easy being green. It's not easy being green. Get out of here, Toby. <laughs> oh, that was rude. Anyway, uh, let's get back to this. And this really doesn't have to look perfect because I'm going to end up putting some fake moss all over the green to make it look a little better. Now I'm going to grab some latex. I'm going to have to put this guy's hair back. So I guess in the meantime, he can borrow this, I guess. Here you and go. I have to carefully put this on his head without touching the green paint I just did. This is so weird. It feels like I'm doing this to a real person. <laughs> uh, this looks so real. I put his hair back in a little band. I'm gonna carefully cover everything I just did in latex. Is that good? Does that taste good, Mr. Beetlejuice? Ah, that tastes so bad. Honestly, I don't wanna get uh, anything inside the eye holes, so I'll be right back. There you go, some top tier googly eyes for your eye holes. That ought to help a little bit. Oh my god, I have sentience now. Shh, shh, shh. I'm still painting you. You need to calm down and stop moving. Okay, I'm sorry. Look at what you're doing. I can't have this, that's disgusting. Mm. No, open your mouth. Uh... Okay, stop, stop, stop. This is a lot right now. Maybe you just quit it. It's like a nice, relaxing facial. What did I just tell you about talking? I'm sorry, I'm just really enjoying the sentience. Oh god. I'm getting the latex everywhere. I think I'm gonna do the not painted parts first because the paint is still a little wet. Whenever I get it on the latex, it seems to kind of spread everywhere. So just keep that in mind when you're painting these. Yeah, let me get that in your ear. Oh no, stop, I don't like that. Oh, you like that? Oh my God, stop! Be quiet. Okay, well, uh, you just kind of chill out here and uh, I'm gonna go have lunch. What? Lunch? 
Can I have some? Nope, you can't. Um, you're gonna have to stay here. You don't even have a stomach. I guess you're right. Okay, I'll stay here. Five minutes later. Ooh, you got a little fly there. Get off of there. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Anyway, so now I'm gonna start gluing some moss to your face. I got a few different colors of moss. Uh, that way I can kind of, uh, you know, scatter them around and make them look real good. Ooh, look at that. It's kind of like almost a sponge. It's very nice. But basically, I'm gonna go in with my hot glue gun. A little hot glue. There we go. I'm gluing little broccoli to him. And a little bit of this super bright green. Now I just gotta do the rest of his face. Just gonna try and pull his hair down really quick. There you go, Mr. Beetlejuice man. Pull all this forward, I guess. I definitely got some hot glue in your hair and I apologize. Maybe it's the googly eyes throwing it off. Yeah, I'd say so. Let's see if I can get you some better eyes. Oh, yes, these look pretty good. So many eyes. Yeah, those might work. Oh my God, Johnny Gilbert? Hi. Is that you? Ugh, get out of here. Everybody tell me what's gonna going on. Reinsert the eyes really quick. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about that. That's pretty freaking weird. You know what? I think I'm gonna try it on. Oh yes, this is really uh, something else. <laughs> Here we go. How's that look? I think I'm gonna go and glue his eyes in really quick. I'm definitely not gonna be able to see anymore, but that's fine. Okay guys, I think I got it. Let's see if I can do this without knocking him out. How's that? Oh my god <laughs> is that pretty spooky or what well everybody thanks for being here thanks so much for saying my name three times <coughs> yeah i'm pretty stoked with how this turned out honestly it's very realistic i feel like it's a very drastic improvement over how it looked before so i'm gonna have to say this one was a success wow. yeah that's really spooky seeing this in person anyway let's paint barbara and adam Ah, oh, yes good old adam how does adam sound he's kind of nerdy right so he's like i have no teeth but i have like seven eyes not in my eye holes yeah that sounds about right right that's adam yeah so what can we improve on adam so he looks pretty good already not gonna lie is this a hand or is this like a waddle Ooh, that's creepy adam in general doesn't really have a lot of teeth but the teeth he does have i feel like we can improve on those just like we did with beetlejuice first things first adam i'm gonna be your dentist today open wide Okay, and Adam's teeth are actually looking really good. Look how spooky that is. It looks so real. This looks like a real, real mouth now. This is fantastic. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use this Iron Man mask to hold up my Adam mask. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Well, let's get to painting Adam. I'm just gonna go in with some concealer and just sort of start painting him. Boopity boop. Oh, wow. Adam, your complexion is looking fantastic. Mm, thank you so much. And how's that? Does it look like it's worth it? This is before, and this is after. I definitely think I'm gonna go in and clean up some of the shadows, too. But overall, I think this uh, gives him more of like a lifelike color. So I'm just gonna continue doing the other side. Okay, now I'm gonna repaint the inside of Adam's mouth a little bit. I have to make a gum-shaded red. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go in and repaint his mouth a little bit, especially where the hot glue is. Oh, yes, Adam, my boy. A few moments later. And what do you guys think? I think we're looking pretty good. One more thing, actually. I want to darken his eyes. Not bad. Oh yes, that's much better. Now it's time for latex. Okay guys, so the last thing I need to do for Adam is uh, redo some of these eyes that go on the tips of your fingers. They definitely look a little rough and that's why I'm gonna cut out the pupils and I'm gonna replace them with some of these fake eyes I bought on Amazon. I bought a bunch of different ones just to see uh, which ones I, I want. I did also debate on using googly eyes, which I think would be really funny, but it would probably look a lot more realistic if I used some of these realistic eyes I got off of Amazon. Well done. So many eyeballs. I'm just gonna go in and cut out your eye hole. There we go. Which eyeball do I like the best? I'm just gonna go in and shove this eye right through the eye hole. Ooh, look at how bright that is. So this one's before and this one's after. This one definitely looks a lot more spooky. I'm gonna start cutting out a bunch of eye holes and start popping in the eyeballs. But I guess that's after I put in the hot glue. This is gonna be a pretty meticulous process, not gonna lie. And there we have it. Now that is a good eyeball. And now nine more to go. So after kind of like accidentally shoving the eye hole in the wrong side, I kind of like how it looks where the eye is like like 
right around it versus like this side. This looks a lot better than this. So I'm probably actually gonna switch, which might look a little silly now that I think about it. Also, I decided to take my Posca pens and just kind of like put them like this. So now they're just kind of pushing the eyeball up and hopefully that stays in place. Just experiment with it. Try different methods, I suppose. Okay, we got all of our eyes done and some of them definitely turned out a little better than others. So now I want them all to kind of stay up like this. But they all seem to kind of tumble over if I touch them too much. So what I'm gonna do is grab some screws, just drill them into my disc like that. And we're gonna take our eyes and just place them right on there. Boom, bam, easy peasy. Now they're standing up real good. There's definitely no knocking them over now. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna go in and add some latex to everything just like we did to everything else, just to give it that lifelike texture, you know? Okay, there we go. Oh yes, Barbara is up next. Now Barbara has a lot of teeth, like way more teeth than Adam. Like Adam, I probably could count how many teeth he had on both of my hands, but Barbara has a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna start on this one little section right here. I'm really hoping that I actually can make this work. I'm a little nervous. Oh yeah, it's boobity boop. It's definitely gonna be a rough one, especially with these teeth. It's gonna be a rough journey. I'm gonna have to hold every single tooth in place, which is fine. I signed up for this. I'm gonna carefully hand insert every single tooth. That's all we gotta do, you know? Okay, so that's looking like a pretty good improvement so far over the other teeth. The other teeth definitely look a lot more fake in comparison now. Ooh, look at those choppers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this cool down for a little bit and then uh, on to the next section. Okay, so the teeth are looking pretty good, not gonna lie. They're almost a little too good. They look really scary. Look at these very realistic looking teeth. That's uh, pretty spooky, not gonna lie. So now I'm gonna go in with some makeup. I've been using paint this whole time, but I can't really seem to get the color quite right to be gum. So I'm gonna try it with this paint instead. Cause normally I have to mix it and then I have to get it just right. But I don't feel like I'm quite there with my artistic skills, so. Oh my gosh, that is a perfect, ma oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this. That's it's almost like the perfect color to match the gums. I should have just used this. Lesson learned, I suppose. I'm just gonna go in and paint over the hot glue. I'm just gonna go in with a makeup wipe and start uh, cleaning up where I got it on where I didn't want to get it, like these teeth. Remember guys, makeup wipes can clean up makeup, but they can't clean up your problems. I had to learn that the hard way. Now we're just gonna go in with our liquid latex and seal everything off. I'm pretty happy already with how Barbara's painted, so I'm gonna leave her skin color kind of like the same. It was really the teeth I just really wanted to emphasize on this one. She just has so many teeth. So Barbara is looking absolutely fantastic. Look at these chompers. Absolutely beautiful. Her gum line also looks very natural. Uh, I'm really happy with this actually. Now I just need to replace these eyes and I think I'm just gonna basically cut the black part away maybe a little bit or even better. I'm gonna go in and paint the eyes white and then add some veins around it kind of like how Adam's look. Oh uh, yes, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, pretty happy with how the white turned out. Now we'll go in and add some of the red. Yeah, that turned out pretty good. Now we're gonna take some of these realistic eyes that I had for Adam. I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue these on in here. Ha ha. Ooh, yeah, that turned out pretty good. That's pretty creepy. Ah, I spread some of the paint up here, so I gotta fix that. But I'd say that that turned out pretty good. Then I'm just gonna finish the eyes off with some latex. I'm also gonna put some latex on the tongue to give it kind of like a slimy look. Latex for everything, honestly. I'm just putting latex on my latex mask. Don't mind me. Now I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit, and I think we're just about done. Okay, guys, the Adam mask is all done, and he looks absolutely fantastic with his brand new teeth. Nah, thank you so much. So since I'm gonna be wearing the Beetlejuice mask, I have to find someone else to wear the Adam mask. Oh, intern! I'm in my room! Oh, yeah, so I was just wondering if you could wear a little mask for me. I love masks. I mask my depression every day. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, intern, so the first thing I'm gonna need you to do is put these on for me. <laughs> Robbie, why am I dressed up as a white suburban man? <laughs> you look great! Now I need you to put this on. Okay. Wow, well, intern, you look absolutely uh, disgusting. Here, give me your hands. My hands? Yeah, we're just gonna take these eyeballs and we're just gonna stick them right on your hands. Why are you sticking them there? I'm okay. sticking them.
Adam right there, because this is how Adam sees. Uh, who's Adam? I, th I thought I was the guy from Spy vs. Spy. You really do kind of look like him, not gonna <laughs> lie. After I put these on your hands, you're gonna be able to see real good. You're gonna have more than 20, 20. You're gonna have 20 times 20 times 20 times 20 times 20. And there you go, now you are Adam! How do you feel? I feel blind. You definitely are blind. The eye holes are, are up here, Abby. Anyway, let's go do Barbara next. Okay, now that Barbara is all done and she looks absolutely horrid and realistic, I'm gonna need another volunteer to wear this mask. Oh, intern number three! Oh! What's up, buddy? Hey there, I need you to uh, wear this Barbara mask for me. What? Yeah, just uh, come on, come on down here. Okay. But before we do the mask, I'm gonna need you to put these on. What is it? You're about to find out. Oh no. Am I pretty? Yeah. Tell me I'm pretty. We need to put your wig on, but we'll wait for the mask first. Tell me I'm pretty. I've never felt so myself. That's fantastic. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you, Robbie. Okay, oh, here we go. Cool. Yeah. Wow. Can you see? No. Okay, yeah, you're not going to because I actually put <laughs> eyes in the eye holes. <laughs> the yeah, I think making it look more realistic is more important than you seeing. Ha ha! You look absolutely horrifying! Woo! I think we did a great job! Okay, one sec, I'm gonna go get the other answer. Okay, intern, here you go. You have to stand right here. You guys look absolutely great! Thank you! I can't even see myself. So now I need you guys to say Beetlejuice three times, okay? Beetlejuice! Beetlejuice! Showtime! Oh, Woo! Yeah! How do you guys think I look? You look great! Absolutely horrifying, Robbie. Can you even see me? Uh, with with my fingers. I think none of us can actually see, and we're about to all walk down Tori's basement. Let's go show Tori and get her some Beetlejuice tickets. Okay, guys, uh, we're doing a train, and we're all guiding each other to Tori Dobransky's room. Oh my god, I look terrifying. I can't see anything. I apologize in advance if this is filmed really bad. I can't see a thing that I'm filming. You got this? You got the, Okay, hold on. Okay, you're good. Do you see it all, Mikey? Yeah, very oh, narrow. Let me know when there's a step. Why aren't you wearing shoes? <laughs> I took them off to get in the slide. Okay, guys, you ready to surprise Tori Bransky? I'm freaking hyped. Okay, guys, try not to trip down the stairs. We move as a train. If one of us goes, we all go down. <laughs> guys, I think Tori Bransky's over there. No oh, hey, Tori Dabransky! Hi, are you okay? Yeah, she has no idea what's about to happen. Yeah, nice. Tori Dabransky, I have a surprise for you. You ready? Oh my god. Here we go! Da 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 da! Beetlejuice! <laughs> oh no, my eye! Oh, you lost an eye! I lost an eye! Oh, here, I'll get it for you. What do you think? You guys look great! Oh my god! Do you like me now? I do! <laughs> Robbie, I like your little eyeballs you have in there. Do you think I got some good eye holes? Do you have some great eye holes? Wait, Thank let you me, so let much. Let me see it. Tori Dabransky, do you feel surprised? Oh God, I'm a little scared. Where are you? Yeah, there is Tori. I'm in front of you, God. Well, Tori Dabransky, we have another surprise for you. Yeah? We're gonna go see Beetlejuice. <laughs> Let's go. We're going in two hours. No, what? I can't wait to drive there. Um, oh, I might, we might need you to drive. That's fine. I could drive. Oh, I got it. I'm really excited for this. Oh, God. Don't worry. I got this. Okay. Get us all up toward the branch. Okay, let's go. I lost my buddy. Let's all go to Beetlejuice. What do you think of his mask? Your mask is awesome. It looks so scary. <laughs> Are you going to see Beetlejuice? Yes, you guys look awesome and amazing. <laughs> Seriously, you guys all look so what good. What do you give it out of 10? I give it... I'll give it a 10. 10 out of 10! This guy has the best vision out of all of us. Yeah, even one with the fingers. You ain't even seen the movie. <laughs> I, I can't, it's too I young. can't. I can't touch anything though. What okay. do you give it out of 10? Well, for the fact that it's a set of three, I'll give y'all like a, we'll go like nine and a half. Good night. Woo! I feel like we're still missing Olivia though. Uh -oh. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. What would you rate the painting of this mask? <laughs> I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Who's your favorite out of these three? Probably you. Uh, Woo! I'll give you a high five. Okay, bet. Hey, excuse me. Uh, what would you rate the painting of oh these masks? Gosh, ten out of ten. Yeah. Holy yeah. face! Dude, that's so awesome. Yeah. You guys are yeah. killing yeah. it. High five. Oh, high five. Oh no, I'm no. Oh, 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 o
eyeball. <laughs> ten out of ten. Ten eyeballs out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> I give him a like a twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, yep. yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks a bunch for watching the video. If you like to make sure I give a big old thumbs up. Look some of this right, right down there. If you guys want to watch me customize even more Spirit Halloween masks, you can click the link right here. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications. Okay, guys. Love you so much, and I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Wear your hands, everyone. Okay, bye.